I'm sitting on my floor because I don't want to wake Everly up. But I feel like it's finally time that I kind of address weight loss on my channel. Officially, like on the scale, I've lost 40 pounds. I kind of mentioned it whenever I made my little comeback to YouTube and did a little q and I talked about losing weight and I've mentioned it here and there, but I never really like went into depth. I've got a lot of questions. And I feel like it's something that I want, I want to talk about. So before I before I start, it wasn't my intention to drop weight. Of course, I was trying to eat healthier and have healthier habits. I never like had set like a diet and a workout plan. Um, I've talked about before how I've struggled with binge eating, and it turns out that one of the things that made me binge eat was one of the medications I was on that I got off, and ADHD. I like didn't really have control of like when I ate, how much I ate, which sounds kind of weird. If I was eating something and liked it, I, I, my brain like just couldn't stop. And one of the medicines I was on made me gain weight. I actually gained like 20, 30 pounds on this one medication. And then I gained more weight on birth control. So medications really do affect like my metabolism, my weight. And I've had multiple pretty extreme weight fluctuations. Whenever I gain or lose weight, it isn't like a gradual thing. It's like, boom. And it's really hard for my self image because I started a medicine, was a mood stabilizer and boom, I was 30 pounds heavier. And I would still look in the mirror and think that I was small and smaller size. And I didn't see, it's body dysmorphia. It's like, you look in the mirror, like when I had gained weight, I still thought I was small. And then I finally like came to terms, okay, I'm a bit bigger now. But I just started losing weight and there was a lot of factors that kind of played into that. People are talking about like, oh, she's on her ADHD medicine, like she's abusing it to lose weight. You can't, if you have ADHD and you're on ADHD medicine, it's not gonna affect you that way. If you're taking a proper small dosage on a schedule that a doctor prescribed you, it's not, you can't, it's not like an abusive thing. Because people don't understand that when people with ADHD take ADHD medicine, it doesn't give them like all the crazy effects. It just makes their brain quiet. Like I saw this TikTok, it's like, what does ADHD medicine do? It's like, it makes the bees quiet. There's bees in my brain. It makes the buzzing stop <laughs> and I, I think that's a really good way to describe it because the first day I found an ADHD medicine I started it and I I hadn't tried one in quite some time and the one I had tried before that the last most recent one um it made me feel really really weird I think it was too high of a dose and it just made me feel like almost like I was on drugs <laughs> and this one it just made me feel like a normal person and I hadn't felt that way in a while because like I thought just my thoughts going crazy all the time was a normal thing but I guess not because I started crying whenever I was editing a video and I could focus on each individual task without my brain trying to override it with a million thoughts and I never thought I would say that but I could hear myself think and it just made me so happy. So I've been getting blasted accusations, people are calling me like a crackhead now, like I'm abusing medication to lose weight. But whenever I gained weight from a medication, nobody said anything. They just were so horrible to me about how I looked and the fact that I had gained weight. They, they were rude to me for that. They didn't say, oh, I'm abusing my medication to gain weight. People don't say that. They only say it when you're losing weight. And I guess it kind of makes sense because like gaining weight isn't ideal. Losing weight is sometimes. I don't, I don't understand why it's like that, but... People are saying I'm like a pill popper now, but um, I've been taking medicine for mental illnesses since like third grade, so nothing new here. But it wasn't just like the medication, really. That was like the least of it, really. It did help me control binge eating. It did help me control when I ate because before I would just eat whenever I was hungry as much as I possibly humanly could and I didn't really have good control over my dietary ways, I guess, I don't know. And I also had stopped the medicine that made me gain weight. It's just a lot. But after I started that medication and I kind of realized, okay, I, I mentally, I have the capacity to control what I eat. I did restrict myself because so many people 
were saying so many things about my weight and I was at the highest weight I've ever been and I was just reading my comments and seeing what people were saying and hearing people even people I was close to before talk about how I had gained weight I did restrict myself for a while and I did try to lose that weight and then once I realized I can't do this it's not good for me I um I went through some pretty stressful things family things not like drama things just like some really stressful family things then after that and whenever I'm stressed it makes it harder to eat it's if it's really bad stress I can't eat but if it's just like minor stress it makes me eat a lot it's weird and then I started filming a documentary with Everly's dad and that was hard for me it made me really nervous it was hard for me to eat and then my stepdad had fell off a ladder and I had to be rushed to the ER. I thought he was gonna die. It was really scary and that made it hard for me to eat. And then before I even started losing weight, I was actually um I I don't really wanna say happened, I'm not it's not something I'm ready to talk about. But something happened to me when I was hanging out with friends. Just basically a drunk guy that couldn't keep his hands to himself it's not as bad as it seems but that really affected me and it made it hard for me because I was stressed out I was just really struggling mentally after that happened and there was just a lot of factors into it it wasn't just Maddie popping pills because that's not what's going on here at all and there were so many factors that went into it so many the main ones being stress and what other people said about my body because usually I don't really get too bothered when people are mean to me, especially when it's over things I can control. So I can control how I act, like if I'm a good mom, what I do with my life. But at that time, I didn't feel like I had control over my body or the way it looked. So I tried really hard to diet or exercise and I, I could just never stick with it. So that really did get to me and just the way people would talk to me, that really got to me. And then after all these stressful events happened that just made it so hard for me to go through my day-to-day -day life. I um, I get COVID and I could not eat when I had COVID. I think the entire week that I was sick with COVID, I ate like two meals. Did not eat a lot at all when I had COVID. Lowers your appetite. I didn't feel super sick, but I didn't have an appetite. I also became a lot more active whenever I started my medicine because I actually like felt like I was in control of what I was doing and when I got out of bed I didn't feel like didn't know where to start I knew how to start my day and get through my day without freaking out and overthinking it I still overthink it but like it was easier for me to do things and get out of the house instead of just lay in bed all day so I was more active as well I just thought it was time to kind of like come on and talk about it because at first I didn't feel like there was a big enough of a difference to really like make up this whole thing but now it's kind of like oh well um 40 pounds it's a really big difference <laughs> i honestly it's hard because whenever you have like weight fluctuations and that's something you go through regularly you never know what you really look like so whenever i look in the mirror i still see myself as 40 pounds more. I don't see that I've lost weight. I, I can't tell when I look in the mirror and I don't know how to really cope with that. But it just happens so fast that it's like, who's that? <laughs> and I still have like the same face, obviously. Like I'm the same person. So it's hard to kind of like notice things like that for me. And it's been really hard because everyone, everyone notices, everyone says, oh my God, I wish I could like lose weight that fast. But you don't, you really don't. It's, I thought too that like if I could just magically become lighter and be skinnier, I'd be happy. But if you're not happy with yourself before you lose weight, you're not gonna be happy with yourself after you lose weight. It's not the secret to life. Your body like it is, is how you have to love your body. Because you'll never love it unless you love it as it is. Because if it changes, guess what? You're still not gonna love it. Take this as a little reminder. I was actually happier with myself when I weighed more because 
I'm, I'm not too sure why, but now I feel like there's this standard I'm trying to uphold myself to and there's this looking in the mirror thinking, why, why did my body change so fast? Why don't any of my clothes fit? What do I look like now? Am, am I seeing the wrong version of myself? Do other people see me differently? It's, it's hard. So, if you're somebody who struggles with body image, just love yourself as you are, please. Please. <laughs> you have to. You have to. I'm literally begging you. It's just... It's literally vital to exist on this earth as a person. If you lose weight, it's not, it's not a magic potion that's going to cure you. And if you can't maintain your weight without restricting, that's not the weight you're meant to be. Every body is different. Every body, every body is different. Just keep those reminders. My weight, like, it's hard for me to, like, talk about my channel. I think this is, like, the second time I've actually done, like, a video dedicated to it. And it's, like, a, a sensitive subject because it's something I've struggled with a lot. I've always had weight fluctuations that were extreme fluctuations. It wasn't just, like, five-pound fluctuations. It was, like, 40-pound 20 pound fluctuations my whole life so I've, I've always kind of struggled with that it's not like this new thing that i've never dealt with before but yeah now i'm just kind of like i'm not trying to lose weight right now but i still have been losing weight i've also been stressed out so yeah, i used to binge eat when i was stressed out now i just don't eat when i'm stressed out but i promise i'm good I'm not taking ADHD meds to lose weight. It doesn't like make it where you don't eat. You still get hungry and your body still recognizes when you're hungry. It's just for people with ADHD, it gives us more control over when we eat and makes it harder for us to binge eat. So that's it's one of the reasons the medication had any effect at all. So I just thought it was finally time to talk about that. I've gained weight on medication. I've lost weight on medication. I've gained weight not on medication and I've lost weight not on medication my weight fluctuates a lot so this just isn't like a brand new like crazy thing for me I've just been monitoring it more this time I'm sorry for like the emotional deep talk about like body image and everything but it's like a it's such a prevalent thing in today's society especially whenever you're a young girl or boy just on social media and you see all these people with perfect bodies perfect body for most is not something that's achievable the ideal body we look at now is just skin and bones and that's it's not healthy to put those standards on ourselves so this is just kind of like something i wanted to share because i wanted to address it because i do share all my life on here and then i also just kind of wanted to talk about it because whenever i saw all these beautiful skinny skin and bone models i thought wow my life would be perfect if my body looked like that and now that i've lost weight my life isn't perfect. I am the same exact person, just a little bit smaller. It's not this big life-changing thing. It's just the, the number on the scale, which doesn't mean anything. It's not going to get you anywhere in life. So just love yourself the way you are. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. So don't worry about me. I am good. I just wanted to address it and give your body a hug because it has literally gotten you through every single thing you've been through. So. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like this channel. It's almost midnight. <laughs> Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. There we go. I got it. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.